Good afternoon, everyone. Farmers going bankrupt, so your food prices are going to go up. Tracking the dust storm off of Africa last week that's going to collide with the Arctic front. In the beginning of May over Europe, fishermen facing off between Uganda and Kenya as we step through the Galactic Cross. Starting off here with an article, Mark Slavo, talking about the bankrupting of not only dairy farmers, but just farmers in general across the Midwest, losing billions and billions, having to sell their farms. The article talks about a food crisis upon us. If these farmers can no longer afford to grow food because they've lost so much money, so they can't get loans from banks because they're high risk, but we all buy food in stores... It looks like it may have to be imported. Expect not only major price hikes, but food inavailability, shortages of whole foods. And these are the types of foods that you actually want to hold on to because that's the hearty food and that's easy to store. I'm going to bring you over here to tensions gripping fishermen, Lake Victoria. This is the second time that Uganda has arrested Kenyan fishermen and the Kenyan military slash police stepped in to rescue. So it's a spat over the dwindling fish supply in Lake Victoria. So you're already starting to see it in these lesser developed nations where people are now fighting for food resources. Perfect example here. Links in the description box below. I highly encourage you to read this article about what's happening with the fish. Now, with that said, the calorie intake in developing countries is increasing. So everybody's expecting more protein, more meats, more fish as we move forward. But this grand solar minimum slash magnetic pole reversal that we're going into here, everything's amplifying. What's amplifying what is still conjecture. But the stark reality is less food in the future for everybody. So when we take a look at the regions that waste the most food, North America and Oceania, Going to have to start thinking of different ways to be more efficient with the food. But look at that, Sub-Saharan Africa, the most efficient with food. So what can we learn from them about food storage, preservation techniques of uneaten food for the day? Now, have you been aware of the dust storm? The incredible dense dust load started back on the 21st. Ongoing at the moment, tapering off, but if you did follow it through the 24th, 26th, 28th, you started to get this sort of scorpion tail in there. And what remains in the atmosphere is going to collide with this Arctic front coming down over Europe right now. So this will be through the second, and that's going to collide directly. So what we're going to get is this, what you see here off the Aquamodi satellite. And what you'll have is that Storm still pulling the trailing edge of Saharan dust colliding directly with this Arctic front. Look at the heat difference. Greenland actually might start melting again into the melt season. It's been record gains over the last few years. But here we are, crop decimating cold. And this is the third year in a row we've seen it where everything budded early and then it's gotten these late season freezes which cuts the agricultural production. They were already down 40% on fruit across Europe. Now this is not going to help at all. It's going to hinder and to be announced how much fruit will still be left available that European exporters can send to the rest of the planet. So how is your food security? Are you preparing? Do you think about food and the inavailability of it or the price spikes two, three, four times food pricing? What would that do to your economic situation? You should consider getting some food together, these whole foods that were talked about in the previous article, whether that's beans, rice, any kind of canned goods, whatever it is. Supermarket is right next door to you. But if you choose to go with Mylar packed bags where you can keep your food for years in terms of long-term food storage, my Patriot Supply, every purchase you make helps keep Adapt 2030 on air, bringing you information just like this. They also have bags, dehydrators, vacuum sealers, freeze dryers, and everything else you need to store food for a longer period of time. My Patriot Supply forward slash prepare with Adapt 2030. The link's in the description box below. Just click and go. Now we've heard over the last month, terrifying climate change, just 12 years until we're all doomed. But remember the Economist magazine this year 
2019 Black. I was saying it was the black horse of the apocalypse, the famine. And then, you know, lo and behold, the economists changed their cover. Now, there's a lot of cryptic messages here and things are written in reverse. You have to use a mirror to actually read it. A little bit zoom in here for you. Now, notice the strangeness as every single cover entails, but the four horsemen are riding directly over Europe. And while that's happening, this grand solar minimum magnetic pole reversal march full steam ahead as we go right through the processional cycle and move through the galactic cross. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you're looking for more information on what a grand solar minimum is, how it's going to affect your life, food production on the planet, how you can keep your family safe, along with the magnetic anomalies and everything else going on at this time. Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast, 30 minutes on the go. Anywhere you can find a podcast hosted across the net. But Libsyn, you can subscribe there and stay in my feed.